ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਟੀਵੀ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀ ਟੀਮ ਅੱਜ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮੈਲਬਨ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਫਿਲਮ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਆਫ ਮੈਲਬਨ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਆ ਜੀ 15 ਅਗਸਤ ਤੋਂ 25 ਅਗਸਤ ਤੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਬਾਲੀਵੁੱਡ ਦੇ ਅਦਾਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰ ਨੇ ਹੋਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਹਸਤੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਅਕਸਰ ਫਿਲਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਫਿਲਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਇਹ 15ਵਾਂ ਸਾਲ ਆ ਜੀ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਫਿਲਮ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਆਫ ਮੈਲਬਨ ਦਾ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਜੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਲਾਕਾਰ ਆਉਣਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਸਵਾਲ ਜਵਾਬ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸਵਾਲ ਜਵਾਬ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੁਣਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਟੀਵੀ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸੈਟਅਪ ਸਾਰਾ ਰੈਡੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਲਦ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ acknowledging the traditional owners of the land and pay my respect to elders past present and emerging and what a wonderful day to open our film festival happy independence day to all of you uh, before we start i just wanted to um, also share a sad news onir is not here with us today because he lost his father yesterday and but he sent me a very uh, moving message saying that you know how much i love you how much i love this festival how much i love melbourne and how much i love our film so um, on behalf of onir a um, lot of love uh, to all of you and thank you for being with us here today uh, may i begin by acknowledging the wonderful caroline pitcher ceo of vic screen and a great great supporter of the festival and my melbourne uh, who's representing the government here today uh, and of course cgg council general melbourne thank you cgg for coming here i know you've had a very early start with a flag hoisting uh, dearest friend of the festival uh, i still can't tell when he's being sarcastic and when he's being genuine karan <laughs> johar <laughs> um shujita lovely shujita shujit sharkar imtiaz kabir khan wonderful to have kartik aryan back with us today uh, my marriage bureau is going very well thank you <laughs> um so happy to welcome aryana saeed who has sung a beautiful song in our small little film my melbourne and uh, we were so happy that she agreed to be at our festival so a big round of applause for aryana Reema Das, Aparna Purohit, Rajiv Masan, Sona Mahapatra, Nora. Thank you, Nora. I know you hurt your foot and you're still with us here today. Really grateful for that. Adarsh Gaurav, Ritwik, Laksh, Arushi, Sitara and Arka, who are a much loved cast from our film by Melbourne. So thank you and welcome to the film festival. Today is our opening night. As you know, our opening night film presented by Singapore Airlines is the world premiere of My Melbourne. My Melbourne is an anthology of four films, each celebrating one of the foundations of diversity. One is about race, one is about gender, one is about disability and one is about sexuality and it has been helmed by four of the most iconic filmmakers that we have, Reema Das, Kabir Khan, Imtiaz and Onir and really delighted that we finally get to present this film made with a lot of love and support tonight. Um tomorrow is a awards night at Pale Independence Day celebrations at Federation Square by the wonderful Ram Charan who's here. Uh we have the dance competition with our uh, our wonderful judge Malaika Arora and wonderful guest judge Nora. We've got lots of entries from all over australia for people who want to dance for you nora and then we have in conversations with dr rehman and the world premiere of head hunting and to beat boxing produced by dr rehman so lots and lots of programs that that we have in store for you um but without much ado just wanted to welcome you all and also pass on the mic to caroline pitcher to say a few words thank you Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Mitu. Um, my name is Caroline Pitcher and I'm the CEO of Big Screen, the Victorian government's cultural and economic development agency for the screen industry. I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we're on today, the Rwandri people, and I pay my respects to their elders past and present and those emerging. I'd also like to acknowledge any First Peoples that may be here with us today. I'd particularly like to acknowledge Me Too, Bo McLean, Festival Director of the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, and our esteemed international guests, film, film industry professionals, and of course you, the media. Thank you to everyone for joining us here in this beautiful space. There's the banners are up, but it really is one of the best views of Melbourne. Uh, you'll have to check it out through these uh, windows over here, but it really is a stunning view of the Melbourne uh, city. Um, as we mark the launch of the 2024 Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, the Honourable uh, Colin Brooks, Minister for Creative Industry, sends his sincere apologies that he was unable to make it this morning, but he will be there this evening at the premiere and he's very excited to see my Melbourne in full. Um, also, an especial, a special warm welcome to our international guests who are among the best regarded, the most talented, the most passionate, the most successful actors, directors, and film pro professionals in the world. We really are in awe of your achievements and your contributions to the film and television industry. So a round of applause for them. <laughs> we are incredibly honored to have a tremendous amount of talent in this room today. And it's a great pleasure to welcome you all to Melbourne, the state of Victoria, and to have your acclaimed films as part of the festival program. The Indian Film Festival of Melbourne is of enormous cultural and, so and social value to our state. And the Victorian government through Vic Screen is proud to have supported this significant event for well over a decade. The festival is the largest of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. And beginning tonight, it brings vibrancy and energy to this city that I don't think any other festival brings. So congratulations again. From the heart of the city at Federation Square to the Palais Theatre in St Kilda and cinemas across the city, local audiences are set for the best cinema from India and the subcontinent. And this year for the first time, Regional Rhapsody. IFFM's regional screening program is taking the festival to the Victorian regional centres of Shepparton, Bendigo and Geelong so that those communities can get in, involved and also enjoy the incredible <coughs> films within the program. IFFM's masterfully curated program includes events such as Tomorrow Night Star Powered Awards Night, Independence Day uh, celebrations including the flag hoisting ceremony on Saturday and the dance competition as well and the highly anticipated world premiere this evening of My Melbourne uh, opening the whole program. We are so excited to see that film. michelle has been hiding it from me. <laughs> if I may, I'd like to take a moment to talk a little bit about My Melbourne, and I know that Mitu just did, but um, a sincere congratulations for your vision on this project and the way you've been able to collaborate and bring India and Victoria together in a creative space. My Melbourne uh, is really a special collaboration between diverse emerging Victorian filmmakers and really some of India's best directors to create a, a unique film that tells four interconnected stories while providing also skills development and experience and extraordinary mentoring opportunities for Victorians. I'm gonna wear more bling than <laughs> just these buttons. Um, we are honored to have some of the directors here with us today. So thank you to those people that have participated in, in that film. Uh, also, thank you for generously dedicating your time and expertise to making the project happen. Finally, I'd like to con congratulate all of the festival staff and particularly the volunteers that really put in so many hours of work. Um, we really appreciate you and, and what you do for the festival. I look forward to seeing Melbourne come to life over the next 11 days as we come together to celebrate community, culture and cinema. That is what we're here for. And I think um, I will hand back to you, me too. Thank, Thank you very much. Enjoy the festival. <laughs> Uh, before we take open the floor for some questions, I uh, just wanted to say that 
We have over 65 films in 27 languages this year. And as we discussed in the program launch, the, we have wonderful themes, lots of uh, themes of sustainability, uh, gender fluidity, uh, identity. So please do look up the program. Everything is on iffm.com.au. And also you can download our app and watch our films, some of our films for free uh, with an option to donate to Royal Children's Hospital. Um, and I'm also very delighted that we have almost we have films made by 21 female filmmakers i actually should say we have films made by 40 male filmmakers <laughs> that would be a better way to put it i think and so it's a rich robust program uh, so please do enjoy that and lovely sona is even singing tomorrow night as a tribute to all the women that she we have in our team and in the program uh, so thank you Um, yes. I get because you, you will be singing here, yeah. <laughs> so these days <coughs> songs have become more technology and less singing. <coughs> That's what I feel. So a very good morning to all of you. Thank you for having me here. Um, mm, I believe like there's the always in every stage, every generation, every phase, there's been good music and there's not some great music. There's been there, I'm sure you've run it as a So uh, at the cost of feeling like, or a song like Sajni Ray, which is right now, we know top of the charts, which doesn't even have a beat. Nothing can replace a great singer or a great uh, piece of music. And uh, that's timeless and it's always there. So, now when I go to college, I go to the kids, I don't want to go to the kids. I don't want to go to the kids. People connect to it and people sing along with it. Or go to the kids. And I believe there are many such songs even in today's generation which will be timeless and classic and forever be in people's hearts even 20 years from now. So, I think there's good music all around us. You have to find it. You have to seek it. Thank you very much. It's very, very, sir, thank you for that question. It's very, very difficult to separate me from this festival. Uh, she is pretty much the heart and soul and the heartbeat of the Melbourne. Uh, the festival and as I said in Parliament as well, I said it's something that Me Too has about her energy it's very difficult to say no to her. Uh, every time she's made a request or rather a demand sometimes, um, uh, it's always happened. Like every time she's had a wish list, it's always come through. But that apart, I think um, apart from all the film festivals across the world, I think what, what particularly separates the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne is the fact that, you know, like she said, exactly what the thematics are of my Melbourne, um, when, when topics like sexuality, uh, gender fluidity, the diversity, the inclusivity of this festival is totally specific just to the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. There are various film festivals where there is actually lots of business that happens, there's cinema that gets platformed, but this actually totally platforms humanity in the best way possible and I think that's what really separates it. And I'm from KRWTV and my question is regarding a very strong and a powerful film that you have delivered with Karthik Arya, Chandu Champion. So what are some of the challenges that you have faced while shooting this film? Thank you so much uh, for your appreciation of the film. Um, and it was a long list of challenges. I think uh, more than just for me, I think for Karthik, I put him through this grueling, torturous regime for about a year and a half uh, because the film demanded that, uh, you know, the kind of body transformation that he had to go to portray uh, uh, an athlete who goes from a world-class middleweight boxer to a paraplegic swimmer um, was something that um, I myself used to doubt sometimes whether, you know, a person will be able to pull it off. But so, so all credit to Karthik for having really pulled that off. Um, and of course, the other challenge for us was to, you know, present, well, I won't actually call it a challenge, it was more of I guess a thrill uh, to present an unknown hero uh, to the world. Uh, that was uh, the driving force for me for making that film because when I heard that uh, story for the first time, I honestly, I, I, I thought uh, it can't be true. Uh, and if it is true, it's, it's criminal that we don't know uh, such a person. And that motivated me 
to pick up that that subject and i'm i'm so glad that i had a beautiful collaboration with karthik who helped me bring that um, to life thank you Amazing future of cinema in Australia, particularly in terms of representation and diversity. First of all, let me say it's wonderful to be here, and I am thankful for doing this. And uh, really, I think I'm in office country. Well, the hope is, as Karan was saying, that just the the vibe of this festival, which sets it apart from the others, is. There are many positive things that contribute to that. There is inclusivity. There is a, a feeling of uh, positivity and you know togetherness somehow. It seems uh, it's uh, and we participate in that wholeheartedly, which is why we are here. And all the films that, for instance, have been made, have been made in my neighbors, the four films that are the four shots that are a part of that film. And many others, which I'm yet to see, which will feature in this uh, festival, are on very broad-minded, positive topics. They've been made with people, by people with great earnest. And uh, I think everybody, the fact that all of these films are going to be screened and talked about and celebrated, will bring a certain resonance to the to the country, to Victoria, to begin with, and to the rest of the country. And I hope that it has a very, very positive influence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would probably say, um, not a little bit, but sand for that. Yeah. Probably say sake. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be fun. Outdoors. Yeah, yeah definitely because it's beautiful over here. Landscape, infrastructure. So I think doing sake would be energetic and visually very appealing. Absolutely, I'm sure it'll be a delight for us and more enjoyable for you. Very culturally curated choice. So thank you. I'm Deva Prani from Bangalore with people. So swagat hai aap sabka. Main lagta mujhe zarurat hi nahi hai. And welcome Ariana. Thank you. So we have amazing singers with us. So Sona ne to ga diya hai. So I would love if you can sing some lines in Pashto and Dari, please for us. This is uh, one of my own songs. It's actually about uh, women's rights. A song that I wrote about seven, eight years ago. It goes like this. Namo sham hasti no yo bituku vujude madho ye no bituku agaru do bako me na nabura. Muhammad Rustamo Suhro Bituku Yellow Pai Gumbara Rose Odanasa Zanastaman Zanastaman Zanasta Thank you so much for doing this with all. 15 uh, years, 15th August today. Um, it's very momentous. Um, my question is, can you guys hear me? Right? Yes, yeah. we can. We can. My question is for India, sir. I'm a big fan. Um, your movies are always very message driven. They bring out a lot of emotions. Um, they give a key message through them. Um, what are you hoping international audiences take away as a message from the films that are being screened on uh, the, throughout the festival? I mean, specifically the messages that, um, you know, the things that inspire the filmmakers to make the films are the messages that hopefully the audience takes forward. But uh, more than that, overall, I feel if it, is, if it can be about positivity, you know, there's. We are stressed with all kinds of negative things being spoken all around us. All of us need a break from it, really. And I feel I feel that it's art that can relieve us from that situation. And uh, our part of art is filmmaking. And uh, I congratulate all the filmmakers who soon are participating in this festival. And I hope that they bring a positive feeling in this world at this point in time, in any point in time, but 
also this. And uh, I feel there are lots of things that are also positive in this world today, which have been the past. And uh, sometimes, as Sona said, that there are good songs, very good melodies that are being made today. And there are some not so good things that have happened in the past as well. So we also need to be positive about this present time. And I think this film festival in some way is going to contribute to that too. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Uh, my question is for Karan Johar. I'm Priyanka from uh, Aussie Talkers. I just wanted to know, in the recent times, what's that movie that you really, really liked and why? No, well, we just spoke about Sandhu Champion. I absolutely loved the film. It was very, very moving. And for me, actually, the year began with one of my favorite films of the year, uh, La Pata Ladies, mm. uh, which actually, um, yeah. which uh, I think pretty much, I mean, you know, some films just stay on and live on in memory. And some films, like I, was, like I spoke about Chandu, and um, that film moved me because it was so cinematic. It was absolutely like such a strong, strong performance from Kartik, but also it was really the true story that I couldn't believe that, you know, that these were the beats of a true story. And with La Pata Ladies, it just came from like literally out of the blue. And I think will go on to be not just one of the best films of this year, but one for the ages. Um, I remember when I saw Lagan, um, I remember telling Amir that this is that kind of film that will be in all the archives of Indian cinema is one of the best films made. And I say the same for La Pata Ladies. Just uh, okay. uh, huge congrats on Chunkila and a bigger congrats on uh, re-release of Lena Vishnu. How uh, do you feel headspace ko as a writer uh, boost your confidence that a movie is a serial success for you? I think that when we work in the series, I hope it's okay if I talk in Hindi. Please. Yes. All right. All right. So, ask it in <laughs> So, I'm I'm getting here. Pain is temporary and film is permanent. And I feel the fact that film is permanent is being celebrated by the concept of DVDs in cinemas uh, as demanded by the audience. I feel it's a very really positive trend. And I think it also gives me. Uh, the happiness to believe that if there's a movie I try to watch in this theatre and if people want to watch it, I can also call it back, you know. So a film post its initial run does not die. It remains and it has a chance of coming back to the theatre. It's a very positive feeling. And uh, it's also, I feel, democratic because it's audience driven. So at a time where we are all suspicious about people coming into theatres or not, this kind of trend is very positive for the film industry. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. If you movie in theatre, mein, which one would you go for and why? Better my two sir, no one Sorry, OTT may release two sir, or theatre? No, no, no. Thank you. Two movies. Others don't use the theatres. Which one do you choose and why? The only OTT is the theatre. I think theatre. Uh, uh, I don't know this. This. this uh, have, having said that, I've, I've done both OTT. 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 But there's uh, some kind of uh, attraction to the bigger screen.
So uh, what we are planning to do uh, is that Mitch is going to perform Mitch first and then Sona is going to perform. So it still is going to be a tribute. Yes, Aryan or Aryan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sure you're going through a wonderful phase of your career right now. So, yeah. Yeah, really yeah. so in the future, what kind of roles are you looking up to? Like, what kind of roles do you really want to do? How many mics? Sorry, again, I'm struggling with mics. Can I just... Oh, this one's on. Oh, that's that's Which one's working? This thing. Yeah. I'll uh, shout. Yes. <laughs> Check. Yeah. Check. Oh, thank Just you. <coughs> hi, hi. <Yeah. laughs> I think, uh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot the question. Again, leaving the mic again. What are the kind of films you want to work I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to, do, uh, to doing more and more films like Chandu Champion. I think that this film has really given me a lot of uh, a kind of appreciation that I've never gotten before. Uh, uh, again, thanks to Kabir sir, uh, who, uh, who, was, who was there to help me out with the entire process. Uh, from, from day one, who uh, literally, you know, uh, kept, kept acting like a principal or a teacher. Every day, how much body fat is happening, what I'm eating, what I'm eating. मैं मराठी कितनी सीख पा रहा हूँ मैं क्या मतलब वर्कशॉप्स एवरीथिंग आई थिंक ही इज़ ही इज़ रियली रियली दिस इज़ ऑल हिम इट्स ऑल बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ हिम दैट दैट आई कुड परफॉर्म इन अ वे वेर आई हैव नेवर नेवर यू नो डन समथिंग लाइक दिस सो आई वुड लाइक टू डू मोर एंड मोर फिल्म्स लाइक दिस आई वुड लाइक टू डू uh, I'm a greedy actor. I just want a good script, a good maker. So I want to go to the set pe jana and, uh, and that's about it. Yeah. All right. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Uh
best cameras in the I world. We shot my Melbourne. We edited my Ma Melbourne on Black Magic Design. Made right here in Victoria, city of Melbourne, La Trobe University. Our our long standing, long suffering partners. Um, Singapore Airlines and our media partners Nine News, SPS, Indian Link, Good Day India, 3AW, Radio Hanji, Indus Age, The Australia Today and South Asia Times. And of course a huge, huge thank you to my team who worked tirelessly day and night. I just Please clap for my team. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, everybody, all of you who are here today, without you, we wouldn't have made it to the 15th year. The wonderful support we get from the consulate, the wonderful advice we get from the consulate. Thank you so much, CGG, for being here with us. And thank you, everyone. And now I'd request you to please keep stay seated as we all uh, peacefully make way out. Thank you so much. Thank you.